So when I talk about that to a lot of financial advisors, many of them see that as a threat to their, to their well-being, that the internet will be where everybody goes from now on. But then you've got to think, let's look at other professionals. Let's take doctors, for example. You've got to talk to any doctor, and they will tell you that the number of people who turn up for their appointments for the surgery these days with a sheaf of papers that they've printed off Google. And they go, doctor, I've had a pain here for the last the last six days or so, and I've checked it out on Google, and I think I've got this. And the doctors kind of play along with this. Oh, really, that's interesting. Why do you think that? Well, you know, Google, this website says this, website says this. And the doctor thinks, well, that's very interesting. Uh, and how should we treat this, then, do you think? They say, well, I've looked that up, too. <laughs> and I would think a uh, prescription of such and such. Now, the doctors will tell you that 50% of the time they've got the diagnosis right, uh, but they haven't necessarily got the treatment right. And the doctors then come into their own and say, well, this is really interesting. You know, I've got intimate knowledge of your medical history, and all those exams I did and do give me a certain bit of expertise that perhaps you haven't got and perhaps you can't find on the internet. So I, don't, so I think if you're correct on the diagnosis, but why don't we go with this course of treatment? How do you feel about that? They go, oh, yes, doctor, that's absolutely fine. And I think we're going to see a lot more of this. Uh, where people go a certain distance, some will go much, much further than others to do financial planning or get investment information or investment advice, and they may or may not implement the solutions themselves, or what they'll do is they'll get the information and then they will go to their financial planner very much better informed than before. And you've got to ask doctors, do you think they feel under threat from the internet? Not a bit of it. They feel this is really good news because given access to the information, we all know what a little information can do, little information can be about, but given access to the information, it proves that people do want to take control of their health issues. They do care about themselves. And the internet has finally given people, it's empowered many people to, uh, to help themselves uh, in many ways. Um, the social media landscape, that sounds very grand. Uh, basically.